Hey guys, welcome to Iconic TV. Today we're looking at the new Cineram um, memory that we just recently got in. Um, let's just have a quick look at it. Let me come a bit closer. So it comes in a normal kind of pop open plastic kind of thing. A lot of the generic memory kind of have. But let's look into what the memory itself looks like. It's the ERS 305A model, which is two 4 gig kits, uh, PC3 12800, which is um, DDR3 1600 megahertz, and it's running a really, really fast timing of 8, 10, 10, 24. What you need to look at the timing is that the first one, the first number there, which is the CAS, the CAS, is always the most important when it comes to your timings. I mean, that's the main read and write uh, timing there. So if that is the lowest, it will give you a good indication of what the memory is. So because that is an 8, this is what you would call CL8 ratio in memory, um, which makes it a lot faster than, say, CL9. Um, but we'll look at the benchmarks and I'll explain that in detail a bit later. Um, what's also really cool about this memory, besides the whole red and, and black, uh, silver kind of aluminium look, it really matches the board that we're testing it on at the moment, is that it comes with a 10 year warranty, which is really, really cool. And um, they also retail a really good price. Like these two, these two four gig sticks retail for 780 rand. So at the moment, there's no other cheaper stick of memory on this kind of caliber, which is really, really fantastic. Um, what I also really love about the design of this memory is that the cooler is not too big. It's not too high, like power wise. If we can come across to our test machine here, yeah, I'll give you an indication of that. Um, as you can see, you're running 16 gigs in total there, those four fours. And um, with the V6 cooler, as you can see, it, it fits perfectly snug there. If you had to put in there, say, like Vengeance Memory, anything that has a high clearance in that, it would not fit as easily as it does over here. And it looks really, really awesome with the whole the whole board and the whole Maximus look there that we have going. But that's all good and well for memory looks good and it is, it is very affordable, but how does the performance compare to to the more well-known brands out there. Well, let's just put it this way, it is it's very fast. Um, I'm not just trying to say that, I've got some solid evidence in front of me. So let's have a look at why it is so fast. I've, done, I've got some ADOT ADA 64 Extreme Edition benches over here. Um, I did some memory read, write, copy, and latency. The most impressive one was so far was the latency. If you could just zoom in over there, it's got a latency of 43.6 nanoseconds. If, and you must understand that I am running the memory at DDR3 1700, so I have overclocked it, and the processor is running at 4 gigahertz. But there's no point in running at 2600K or benching any kind of component unless you're running at really high speeds to give a good indication of its speed. Anyway, so if we can have a look there, it's got 43.6 nanoseconds, one below that. It's a very old board, it's one of the the, the older Athlon 64X2s, um, it got 47.5, and you're wondering how can an old, an old build like that get those kind of, that kind of results? Well, it's very easy. If we go to its timings over there, it's got 44411. Yes, it's DDR2 800 memory, but its timings are very, very fast. So it gives you, but what gives you indication over here is that today's DDR3 memory, even though the timings are pretty much more than double, because of the megahertz that runs and all that taken into account, it's a lot faster. Um, if we can go into another set, the copy and re write and copy speeds, um, let's start at the copy. Um, as you can see, it beats DDR3 133 which is all fair and well. Yes, it is running at 99924 and it is DDR3 1333, but it still gives it a relatively good indication of how fast this memory is. That is quite a big jump, even taking into account there's one triple three as opposed to 1700 over there. That's a very, very big jump. If we can move across to another benchmark, so Sandra, um, it's a really well-known benchmark, especially for memory and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did all the benches, but the most impressive with this memory was its, um, its cache and memory result. We was able to even get a record-breaking rank out of all the, out of 359 records, you have 125.68 gigabits per second um, memory cache, which is really, really impressive. If we had to compare it um, to the top ranks, the best, fastest memory in the world gets 159. So you are just only slightly off that with your 125. And this is pretty much not very expensive memory, and it's not running at, say, 2,500 megahertz. So what you get here with the Xeram is extremely fast 1,600 megahertz memory. I was able to overclock it to 1,700 megahertz with ease. I mean, I could obviously push it higher to 2,000, but then I'd lose a bit of the timings. Um, 
But yes, like I was saying, it's CL8 memory, it's DDR3 1600, mm -hmm. aka PC3 1200, and um, it really is fantastic memory. It retails for 780 Rand. It's, it's a very good buy, and please be sure to check us out at iconicrt.co.za.